We tend to think that we're the only ones with problems, when in reality, everyone has problems. Sean Covey is the son of Stephen R. Covey of Seven Habits fame. Sean was a great high school football player and led his team to the state championship and was very highly recruited. It came down to us in Stanford and Sean elected to come to BYU. His freshman year, he did well with the junior varsity squad and then left on a mission. When he came home, he was excited and eager to resume his football career. He worked hard, prepared himself physically and mentally, and halfway through his sophomore year, he became our starting quarterback. After winning all but one of the last few games of that season, everything looked like everything was right on track for him. The next year, he was named the starting quarterback, but sustained a concussion against Wyoming in the first game. He came back the next game, and we beat a nasty-ranked Texas team. Tony Sean Covey with a concussion last week will start at quarterback. But then he had shoulder and knee problems throughout the year. Team suffered a little bit, and he had to have surgery after the season which prevented him from going through spring practice. At the time, we had a young freshman quarterback by the name of Ty Detmer, who had an outstanding spring. After fall camp, it was evident that Ty was the better quarterback of the two. Before any announcement was made, I brought Sean into the office and explained our decision to him. He didn't speak for a while, but finally said, Coach, I don't think this is fair. I've worked hard, prepared well, and done everything I was supposed to do to return as a starting quarterback. This is going to be a much better team than the others that I played on. I had to agree with Sean. After another moment, he continued. But coach, he said, this isn't fair. But I want you to know that I will be at every practice. I will be at every meeting, and I will prepare myself every week as if I were the starting quarterback. I will be ready whenever you need me. He did just that. Unfortunately for Sean, Ty went on to have the greatest year of any sophomore quarterback in the NCAA history. Sean rarely got into a game again. Life in this instant was not fair to Sean. But he chose to do his very best and to contribute to the success of the team in any way he could. Life can be discouraging. It isn't always fair. But with faith and an eternal perspective, we can make it through the hard times.